Hey guys, Johnny Guns here, and in this video I'm going to show you why Glasswire is such an awesome program and why you want this software. So a little backstory to how I found this program. It's so interesting how this happened. I was looking to set up a 4G LTE uh, dedicated service for my family out in a rural area of upstate New York. There's no cable internet, there's no there's no WiMAX, there's nothing. Yo, I'm going to try and you know set up a system with a cradle point, but I really want to have a, uh, a network monitoring software out there. So I did some research, and on top of that, I was doing some work for my, da for my dad, and uh, he needed me to print some stuff, and I had this printer that I had to finagle with, as you all know. I love using that word. And uh, I just got annoyed with uh, this pop-up and yeah, that kept asking me to do a survey and kept asking me, you know, is this okay? Update, 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 like a million times. So I'm like, all right. I gotta find a firewall program to block. This is how I stumbled across, I need something for the network, but I stumbled across Glasswire because of the firewall thing I was looking for. So I found Glasswire and I could block that annoying thing off the internet with the firewall tab here. I'll show you real quick. You can see this is it right here, inkjet printer scanner fax extended survey program. I could just click on this and it blocks it. It can't access the internet. This program will not allow it. And it's great, you can do that on anything you want. Like anything. Like Oh, it's just great. It pops up here. Anything that connects to the network it pops up here in your firewall area. And it will also alert you what's changing, like all the programs, all my updates for Warframe. Boy, I, there's just so much stuff. I'm going to give you a link in the description so you can actually read through everything. I won't cover every inch of this program, but I just want to tell you for all you guys that love networks and and monitoring and uh, like filtering and just seeing exactly what your computer's doing over the internet, because that's all we do nowadays. We We just... We get on our computers and we're just accessing everything through the internet because it's it's fantastic nowadays. Our internet speeds are, are great. We can get anything we want at any time at a really quick pace. So the graph, we'll start off with that. You can actually select how you view your graph, which is awesome. There's all, so you can just have this running on a third monitor somewhere or something like that. There's apps. Oh, speaking of that, uh, real quick, and down here, uh, let's see, show mini viewer. There's a little tiny graph you can put down in the corner without opening uh, opening that uh, whole Glasswire program. So you can look at everything here. There's traffic. Your graph, you can actually go into the program, click on it here, or hover over. And you can actually use a virus scan. Uh, there's a built-in virus scanner in this as well. So if there's something taking a lot of data, like this program automatically updates and keeps everything current with you know the latest viruses and all that. So you can just virus scan on something and see if it's a potential virus that's taking internet and uploading cookies and data and whatever else it may be doing, you know, with all those worms and trojans and all that stuff from past times. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. And you go into hosts, you can see like the host, the actual, uh, the address here. There's alerts, what it's done, like what it's changed, but you can hover over this and uh, see exactly what's going on Firescan. I just did it earlier. I was messing around, having fun with this program here. I love this program. So let's go over, I'm gonna do, let's take a look here. So you can see Google Chrome here. I'm gonna do a speed test. You can actually see, once it actually kicks in here, you'll see the graph here do something crazy. So it's real time right now. Okay, there we go. See, that's my speed test. That's my download. Surprisingly, guys, speed test uses a lot of data. So if you're doing speed tests on a mobile phone with a two gig plan, you're using 200 megabits or um, uh, yeah, megabytes, excuse me. You're using 200 megabytes every time you do a speed test because it's 100 down and 100 up. I was a dummy. I'm setting up actually a dedicated 4G LTE system with a cradle point router at my, my dad's house actually for my family. And I did probably a million of them and I went over my data like so hard. Just Just a quick tip. So there it is, guys. You can see when you stream, like let's say you're a twitch.tv streamer, you can monitor your upload. Like You can take a look. Okay, that's where we're going to go to usage. So this is cool. There's a bunch of stuff on here. There's Up here, you can do for the day, week, month, unlimited. You can look at everything you've done. Like like if you do the uh, $49 one, you get a six-month uh, uh, tracking if this software is open, which it should be open every time you turn on your computer after you install it. But you'll have six months of uh, record. And it only gets better as you uh, purchase higher tiers of the program. 
Yeah, one year history, unlimited history for the elite. So basic is six months of history, pro is one year of history, and uh, elite is unlimited. So <laughs> as long, it, it just key, attracts the data. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're doing something on your computer like that you don't want this program to pick up on, this is important for, yeah, even myself, there's some things. <laughs> I'm an experimenter of uh, the internet, so there's certain things I want to research and be educated on. So if some guy walks up to me and he's like, hey, you ever heard of this? I can at least be somewhat informed because all of us, all of us guys, you know, on the internet, we're like, hey, you know, did you, you, you heard about the thing with the thing, right? And we're like, oh yeah, of course I did. But if you don't want other people that might potentially get on your computer, you can go to Glasswire up here in the top left, incognito on, and it won't track for, uh, it won't track you for however long you have that on. So, I'm just kidding about uh, doing bad things on the internet, guys, you know. <laughs> but that's it, guys. Usage for that tab. There's apps. You can actually go through and see what they've used. You can click through, see their hosts, like BlueStacks. That hasn't used anything because I haven't used that in a million years. Um, you just go see what it's doing, downloading, uh, how everything. Everything right here in a nutshell. You can take a look. Unlimited, you can see how much unlimited. So it should be, yeah, oh, um, 861 gigabytes. And for the day, just since I got up, just before I made this video, I've used just under a gig for the day. That's soup. That's gonna be super helpful for people. Uh, I know some of you that even watch my videos, you know people are, or yourself, you have a, um, a connection to, to uh, 4G, LTE, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, and, at t and you got to monitor your usage and it's like oh you got to go into the little thing and sometimes it's not accurate honestly like i've had it where it's a couple couple hundred megabytes off on the little MiFi that's tracking but this you can see what your computer's using so you have a really good idea without efting to log into your MiFi and look at the look at the thing you know how much data you used or go on the website and check it Real time, you'll have it right with Glasswire. It is pretty sweet to say the least. That is my ultimate favorite thing of this program. Uh, that's my favorite feature besides Firewall. Firewall is pretty awesome. So let's get into that real quick. Firewall, you can block anything like I was telling you earlier, the stupid inkjet printer thing. I mean, I know that's, the, I don't mean to call it stupid, but it, it annoyed the crap out of me to say the least. So <laughs> block that. You can block anything else that you don't want on the internet. There's usage, network, you can see who's on your network. It's pretty awesome. Oh, I was gonna show you, let's see, in settings. You can actually, this is cool. You can set this up on a computer elsewhere and you can actually set up, set it up as a server and you can connect to it and monitor remotely. That's pretty awesome. I love that stuff to death. Like I'm a huge team viewer slash you know, remote uh, login kind of person, so. There's uh, security. What we'll do here is you can like camera and mic monitor. See, we're gonna turn that on. What I was telling you earlier, like if someone connects, internet access monitor, like notify me your connection was disconnected or reconnected, like bandwidth over, see, bandwidth overage. You can set this and it'll be like, yo, dude, you're using, you know, your overage. So, and then you can exclude local network traffic, which is fantastic. Like. <laughs> You guys that uh, are still out there playing uh, LAN or LAN, you know, connections, you know, Age of Empires or just local network stuff, that you can actually exclude that from uh, the, the program monitoring it. So I want to show you that real quick. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty much it, guys. That's what I want to show you. Uh, if something changes to in graph, it'll actually pop up here. I'm glad this happened. And you can click. And you can see is now on it tells you it actually like when you go to like a week you can see all these cool little bubbles and like what the hell what what is this this device was added click here teamspeak 3 client updater yeah check here see what uh, you can check all these little things by clicking the tabs it's really intuitive honestly this program is the only thing that uh, got me that i was kind of like well there's lockdown mode so you can go to firewall and you can actually go here and block all connections. So let's say you wanna leave your computer on, just so it's on when you get home, but you do not want this computer to talk to the network or you know to the internet. You do not want it to do any network activity. Let's say you don't want it to update a certain game until you get home and read the patch notes. You can block that program or you can block everything by block all. And when you click that, 
everything gets cut off from the internet. So it's it's like a uh, lockdown mode, if you will. That's actually what it's called. But to get that to happen, there's no real thing that right in front of you, like there's no setting in here that says lockdown mode. You actually go into firewall and you click on this right here and you do black all. And that's lockdown mode. And that will block every single program that accesses the internet from accessing the internet. So like I said, it, there's, there's probably hundreds of uses for that. Me, like I give you an example about um, actually you know, like locking down a game so it doesn't update. So you can see if you really want to update the game or just play on an old patch or something like that offline. It's it's excellent. This program is so worth the money. I was, uh, if it wasn't for the great folks over at Glasswire, I was actually going to drop the cash and get the, get the upgrades for this program. I, I use it so much. I love looking at everything. I highly recommend this program. The free version is amazing, but I would highly recommend getting the upgrades so you have all this good stuff. Like there's, there's just, oh, guys, check the link in the description of all the features. There's a form access right through it. You can actually go right here and go to the form. It's just excellent. So guys, thanks for watching this rambling review. I, I highly appreciate you checking it out. And I really appreciate Glasswire for giving me the opportunity to bring this video to you and actually show you all the cool stuff it offers. This is like my main program, honestly. If I'm not playing a game, or anything else. I just like to see what's going on in the network, which is what I'm getting into in the future, uh, network engineer possibly. So this this program is, is fantastic. It's painless, it's perfect. It monitors everything for you from real time, five minute stream, all the way to unlimited, depending on what uh, program or what uh, tier you have uh, purchased here. Guys, have a great one. Check out the links in the description. We uh, will have possibly something nice for you guys with this program in the future. So stay tuned, guys. Hope everyone has a great day, and we'll see you later.